Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Well, here you are. Oh, Claudia, uh, hello, dear. When did you get in? I didn't hear you. Just now. I didn't know you were home. Oh, I just got in, too. Why are you hiding in the bedroom? Aren't you glad to see me? Of course I am. Delighted. Why? I don't know. You just don't seem to be... Oh, nonsense. Just to prove to you how glad I am. Here. That's not very glad. That's wishy-washy glad. <sighs> That's better. You were, uh, You were, uh, home late. And I was out all day, too. I was at Dr. Rowland's, mm -hmm. and... What did Dr. Rowland have to say? The baby's fine. What do you think he'd say? The baby's fine. Mm -hmm. What about you? Oh, I'm fine, too. Good. Mrs. Norton, he said, you are fine. Fine. Now tell me, what are you hiding in the bedroom? Hiding? Who's hiding? You, and you're sitting on something, too. Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, besides the chair. Well, I don't see anything besides it. David. What, dear? Don't what, dear me? I know you have something up your sleeve. <laughs> you're cute. Uh, tell me. Am I sitting on what's up my sleeve? I must be a contortionist. <laughs> if you don't tell me, I'll tickle you. No, 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 not that. <laughs> then Please, confess, confess. That. There you are. Bluffs confessed for me. So that's it. David, you, 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 you took it. I took what? The mail order catalog. Now, Claudia, why on earth would I do a thing? Oh, like so you admit it. You make it sound like a terrible crime. You have a guilty conscience. Oh, I just thought I'd glance through it, waiting for you to come home. And that's why you hid in the bedroom. Is it? Well, it's getting late. Just give me the catalog. And while you shower, I'll just glance through it. Oh, I've got plenty of time. It's still early. It's not as early as you think, David. Then uh, maybe you'd better go and uh, start getting dinner ready. Oh, it's, it's not that late. I, I've just time to... to... <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> you... Me. <laughs> and me. Both of us trying. <laughs> Don't. Don't. I'll tell you what. <laughs> we'll sit down together and read the mail order catalog together. How's that? Oh, that's perfect. I love reading something at the same time with you. I was afraid of that. That's the way I like reading best. Then come on. We'll go in the living room. You know, I hardly had a chance to look at it this morning, but it looks fascinating. This mail order catalog, darling, is... Is for many people the only way to shop. You mean many people who never get to a store? Mm -hmm. Many people who live hundreds of miles from the nearest store. David, that's awful. Oh, it's not so terrible. I die. Just wait until you read this catalog. You'll never want to go to a store again. Well, I do love getting mail. And everything in this book is a bargain. Really? Mm -hmm. Come on, quick, let's sit down here. I never saw you so anxious to read something. Before. Well, I'll turn on the standing lamp. Uh, there. All ready. Now, now, let me see. I was reading page 623. Here we are. Now, farm equipment. Farm equipment? Well, I don't want to look at farm equipment. Just look at that tractor. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you ever saw? Stunning. Mm. You'd never think to look at it, would you, that, that this tractor can pull a double plow. Fancy that. Mm -hmm. And look at this. Look at this side delivery rake. What do you think? You're not going to buy one of those things, are you? Of course I am. Someday soon you'll realize how handy it is to be able to buy my mail. For instance, now, all of this farm equipment. Mm -hmm. No reason why I should spend my time in stores. I'm going to order it by mail. Well, that's up to you. Well, I'm certainly not going to. Mm -hmm. Maybe I... Maybe I ought to buy one of these incubators. What's an incubator? For hatching chicks. I thought the hen did that. Well, hens can. Once the chicks are hatched, you keep them warm in a brooder like this oh, one here. Oh, 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 oh. What's the matter? You look as if you didn't like the idea. I don't think I do. Why? 
David, how many chicks are in a brooder? Different sizes. Some 270, some 350 or 450. No! Here you are. Here's the picture right in front of you. Well, they must get all mixed up. What? The chicks. How do the hens know which is theirs? Uh, darling, it, it, it doesn't matter to the hen. How do you know? Well, it's always done this way. That doesn't convince me. A hen is a mother, isn't she? Well, so I've always thought. And I certainly wouldn't want my child in a brooder with... Uh, darling, with... are you comparing yourself to a hen? Well, I think I know a little more the way she feels than you do. Uh, here, here. Here's a pasteurizer. You'll have to get one of those, too. David, you changed the subject. Did I? And here's a separator, only thirty-four fifty. What's a separator? Separates the cream from the milk. Oh, then we don't want one of those. Why? I like my milk creamy. I think it's a gyp to serve milk with the cream skimmed off the top. Oh, David, look, we don't want all this farm stuff. It'll only complicate things. Such as? Oh, taking chicks away from hens and cream away from milk. Next thing you know, we'll be taking our nice crow away, away from the field. We will? We will! Absolutely. I'm sorry I brought it up. Well, now let's see what they have in the line. Hey, of... David, it's my turn. We, we've been looking at farm stuff. Let's look at the rest. What? Clothes uh, and... Uh, I knew this would happen. What? <clears throat> Darling, I'm uh, getting starved. Don't you want to get dinner ready? Don't you want to take a shower? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, you win. What else do you want to look at? Well, there's a big section on household furnishings. You want to look at that? Oh, David, that's a lot of fun. Stoves and refrigerators and... Look, look, here's one. It's got six top burners and insulated oven, mm -hmm. and two non-tip oven racks, whatever they are. I think I'll write in for it. Darling, you uh, you don't want to write in for things. Why not? What's the fun of shopping this way? But, David, it's much more convenient. After all, a stove is a stove, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you won't see it in sheep's clothing. I dare say you won't, darling. Now, let's see. Let's see what else there is I want. Just make um... a wish and then look it up in the index and it's yours. I wish for... I wish for, uh... Darling, uh, just look at this index a moment. It's the story of your life. My life? Mm -hmm. Yours, mine, everybody's. This catalog begins at your birth and ends at... The end. Here. Here you have everything you need to get born. Baby powder, thermometers, cribs, toys. Mm-hmm. The next big step... Graduation. David, that's a stunning graduation dress. Marriage. See? Right here. I could buy you a thousand dollar engagement ring. A perfect blue white diamond. And wedding bands. Oh, nine to thirty dollars. Why, it's certainly a lot cheaper to get married than engaged. Many lad has uh, been trapped that way. Oh. <laughs> then after marriage, your first home. The furniture for it. The tiling and the linoleum for the floor. Wallpaper for the walls. Book clubs to help fill those library shelves. All sorts of clothing, I guess, mm, to fill I the like closets. Those. Livestock to fill the barns. Seeds to flower the gardens. Lightning rods to protect the house. We need one of those. Mm -hmm. Cute little pinafores for your daughter. Aww. Rompers for your son. Sleds and tennis rackets. Fishing lines for vacation. Now, let me see. Where are we? Um... Oh, yes. Then uh, the man in the family starts to make a little money. He uh, buys a car. By mail? Well, he can get all the upholstery, tires, and replaceable parts. Mm, they'd be a big help without the car. And, and, mind you, he can get a garage door. I think we could use a garage door, don't you? A garage might grow onto it. Oh, but you can get a garage, too. Well, then what do we buy the... Well, now, let's see... By now, we've gotten a little older. So it's a coal stove to keep the living room a little warmer. See, we put the coal stove over in the left-hand oh, corner. Oh, yes, I'm going to be right mm -hmm. underneath it. <laughs> a rocking chair to rock in. Mm -hmm. Knitting needles. Yarn. Mm -hmm. You can keep the yarn. Corn plasters. Mm -hmm. I'll keep the corn plasters. <laughs> a magnifying glass to read the evening paper with. Yes. Woolen underwear. That scratches. Maybe some paints and brushes to catch that last sunset. 
And then, then a wheelchair. Oh. And finally, on page 1172, a nice marble monument. They think of everything, don't they? Everything. It's the seven ages of man and beast in a mail-order catalog. Oh, David, makes me feel so married. I mean, now we've got a mail-order catalog between us, sort of telling us all about our lives. You know, come to think it's really almost all you need to get married in. Almost, but not quite. Not quite. You know, I, I think I'll get myself a pencil and paper, and then I'm going right straight from front to back in this catalog, and I'm going to make a list of every single one of the things that I want. Now, let me see. A tractor. Mm-hmm. Tractor. Mm-hmm. A separator. One separator. How much was that? Thirty-four fifty. Oh, that's terribly expensive. A wheelbarrow. Listen, write down a stove. A stove. And a lantern. A lantern. And blue jeans for me. Blue jeans for you? Yeah, and you too. I expect to wear the pants in this family, young woman. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wheelbarrow. Where are the wheelbarrow? David, listen, we can't do it this way. It's like pulling numbers out of a hat. We have got to have a system. A system. I see. That's you and your system. Now, now, just what would you suggest? Well, let me see. I think we ought to begin at the beginning and then go through it page by page. Page by page. Yes. Now, let's see. Certainly. Well, how else are we going to know everything that's in here? Oh, looky here. <laughs> what? There is a pair of pants just exactly like I had when I was a little boy. Oh, Dave. Look at those corduroys. I think you... Everything's wonderful. It's going to be a wonderful night. Look, this catalog has how, how many? 1,196 pages. Let's see what's on the last page. We'll buy something on the last page. Now, wait a minute. Let's see. 1,106. <laughs> We bought everything. Oh, here it is. A halter for a horse. I can get one of those for you. Now, let's see. Darling, you underestimate yourself. It's going to be a wonderful week. Come on. Let's start at the beginning. Page one. Page one. You don't need to go in for extravagant entertainment if your object is simply to give your guests a gracious welcome and make them feel at home. Actually, a bottle of ice-cold Coca-Cola will do that to everybody's satisfaction at the mere expenditure of five cents. Have you plenty of Coke on ice, by the way? No telling when that doorbell will ring, you know. Well, David, you know, we uh, had quite a session there listening to you get through that whole catalog. Yes, we did, Joe. Page by page, Every too. Every last single one. Now, a list of things to order. It's practically as long as the catalog. You sure you haven't forgotten anything? I promised Claudia that we haven't. All we need now is a house to move into and a mailbox to stand by the gate. Well, why didn't you buy the mailbox by mail? That'd really be logical, you know. Well, Claudia has a feeling about mailboxes, Joe. I suppose I'll find out about that tomorrow? You will. And I have a feeling that when Claudia has a feeling, well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See what you mean. Goodbye, David. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes, and ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.